Tamson? Present. Dan Roberts? Present. Ryan Snavely? Here. Kathy Valentine? Present. Sam Tinsley? Here. Robert Meek? Here. James Hart? Here. Ralph Gwynn? Present. James Widener? Here. David Thompson? Here. Next on our agenda is the approval of July the 12th, 2016 minutes and August the 9th of 2016 agenda. Move to approve. Second. By force vote, all in favor of approval, say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. All right, Tommy, I guess you're up. Okay, the beginning balance is July the 1st, 2016 for County General was $1,606,721.35. Revenues for the month were $667,270.66. Disbursements for the month were $500,617.92. Resulting in a balance on July 31st, 2016 for County General of $1,773,374.09. Beginning balance as of July 1st, 2016 for County Roads was $959,956.65. Revenues for the month were $171,156.59. Disbursements for the month were $97,468.26, resulting in a balance on July 31st, 2016, $1,033,644.98. One quarter cent sales tax revenues for July were $117,100.15. 1% county sales tax revenues for July were $266,611.25. General revenue turned back for July was $14,033.05. Highway revenue turned back for July was $105,173.90. The 1.5% state highway tax for July was $44,248.02. Next item on the agenda is the uh, form court committee reports, and attached to this is the budget finance committee. It's your second page at past your agenda. And, and uh, Mr. Chairman, yes, uh, Judy's here from the airport at the request and invitation of the finance committee. I would like to let her go now. Okay, that'd be fine. Thank you for having me again. Uh, tonight I'm here to request we've got a runway overlay project uh, approaching us. This is the third grant on this. We've already closed out two on the design and everything. Now we're on to the finale. This is a $2.8 million uh, federal grant, and the uh, state portion of the 5% is $141,000. That money has to be uh, paid till the end of the project, just like all the state grants I've been before you. And then uh, once we uh, close out the project, then the state air nice department reimburses us the 5%. And at that time, I reimburse the county. Uh, it's basically the same thing uh, as before. This one, I've attached all the information to it and be glad to answer any questions you have. I would like to remind everyone of the state aeronautics grants, Arkansas Department of Aeronautics grants, all that funding comes from aviation fuel sales tax only. That's the only funding, and that's how they improve Arkansas airports. All the federal aviation airport improvement projects come from aviation fuel sales tax and airport airline user fees, uh, the tickets that you're buying the airline. So it's all aviation-related users that pay for these improvements. And so if you, you know, aren't a pilot and buy fuel, you're not having to pay for the state portion, and if you, you know, don't travel much, then you're not paying any on the other, but it is, it is all aviation related, so I wanted to make sure everybody understood that that's where the federal money comes from in the state, but I would uh, hope that the uh, court tonight would approve the 5% carry of the 141000 
So I sure don't want to uh, tell the FAA we can't accept a $2.8 million grant and let them use it with another airport. But it is our last overlay was in 1998, and then we had a seal coat in 2006. So it's uh, definitely uh, due for one, and the FAA's uh, stepped up to fund it. Uh, we don't know how much of the funding we're going to get this time. I was hoping to find out before I came tonight. There's still some questions. Uh, right now we've got in the grant the uh, runway lighting uh, also, and then the uh, grooving, and we're not sure when we're gonna, all the funding. So, but 141 would be the maximum amount that we carry because that's the maximum grant, and it could be a little bit less. But uh, they'll be letting us know in a week or so, and they send us an author an offer for the grant, and we have 10 days to sign saying that we have the money and we can proceed, and we're able to proceed and get back to them where they give the money away. So I want to be prepared for when we do receive that offer from the federal government. So you're going to land on the taxiway until the... Yes, we're going to have 4,500 feet available, and it's going to be a daytime only. So that's going to hurt our operations for a couple of months while that's going It's a project for 60 days, but you know how construction and weather and everything goes, so you don't know. But FedEx will not be able to land at our airport during those operations. They can't land on 4,500 feet. So they're going to be um, shuttling back and forth to uh, Springfield Airport. They worry, you know, they're going to have a hangar up there. So we're going to lose those fuel cells and their operations. Seaport can land. They're just going to have to change their schedule to because um, they have a night flight and an early 6 a.m. flight that they're going to have to move around to accommodate. But everybody, you know, but FedEx is still going to use it. So we're going to lose about 7,000 gallons a month of fuel cells. Well, our runway shut down. And it'll take how many days, you say? Projected 60 days. Um, that's that's probably uh, living a dream and it works out, everything's perfect, the weather's perfect. <laughs> well, thank you, Judy. If there's any questions, we're going to hold those until we get to some more of this. But, Jim, do you have anything further? Uh, we had some other appropriations. Okay, but well, that was okay. Is yes, there okay. any any other committee chairmen has anything to say? Okay, the next item is the announcements and presentations, and I sure have none. So I guess the next is new business, and it'll be appropriation ordinance number one, an ordinance to transfer COBRA funds received from former employees into the appropriate budgets submitted by Ralph Gwynn. Ralph, I'll turn the floor over to you. I'm going to make a motion to read this. Second. Okay. Is there any other discussion? Okay. So all in favor say aye. <coughs> aye. All opposed, same sign. Okay, Ralph, have it. Uh, be enacted by the Corn Quarter County Boone State of Arkansas an ordinance being entitled an ordinance amending the annual budget for Boone County for the fiscal year 2016 and authorizing the county judge to administer such budget and for other purposes. <clears throat> now, therefore, be it ordained by the Corn Quarter Boone County Arkansas Section 1, the following transfer is made from Boone County General Fund 1000 to 1000 0400 one double oh nine sheriff personnel services health insurance matching seventy seven dollars forty six cents. <coughs> Section two the following transfer is made from the library fund three double oh eight dash oh six double oh to three double oh eight dash oh six double oh dash one double oh nine library personnel services health insurance matching seventy nine dollars and two cents. Section three the following transfer is made from the 911 uh, fund 3020-0501 to 3020-0501-1009-911 uh, personnel services health insurance matching $79.02. These sums, 7746, 7902, and 7902 respectively, are the amounts received for COBRA for the <coughs> first quarter of 2016. Funds of $235.50 were payment submitted to COBRA from previous employees with no new funds appropriated. Section 4. 
if any provision or section of this ordinance is held invalid by a court of competent jurisdiction such as validity uh, shall not affect other provisions and sections of this ordinance of the ordinance and to such other in the provisions and section of this ordinance are to be separate. Section 5, this ordinance herein enacted is an appropriation ordinance, and therefore it is effective immediately. I move to adopt. Is there a second? Second. Second. So I have this, okay, some discussion among the corn board? <coughs> None? Okay. Discussion among those districts? Okay, we're going to roll call. Sam Tinsley? Yes. Robert Meek? Yes. Jim Hart? Yes. Rob Quinn? Yes. James Widener? Yes. David Thompson? Yes. Frank Hampson? Yes. Dan Roberts? Yes. <clears throat> Brian Snavely? Yes. Kathy Valentine? Yes. Next on the agenda is appropriation ordinance. Ordinance appropriated 5% of a federal grant for the airport runway and lighting submitted by Justice Sam Tinsley. I'll make a motion that uh, we, uh, read this ordinance by title only. Second. 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 Motion's been made and seconded by title only. All in favor? Say aye. 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 All opposed? Say same sign. Aye. Was that Ralph? Was that you? Okay. So it will be read in its entirety. Okay. Being entitled as a form of the County of Boone State of Arkansas in order to be entitled. An order submitting for annual budget for Boone County for the fiscal year 2016 authorizing the county judge to administer such budget and for other purposes. Now, therefore, be it ordained by the Corn Court of Boone County, Arkansas, Section 1, the following appropriations made in the county general fund number 1,000 from 1,000. County General, $141,000. Two, 1,000 0 0-0-4002 airport capital outlets buildings, $141,000. This sum, $141,005% of the $2,826,925.51 total federal grant to overlay the runway and replacing some light, lighting. This sum, $141,000, will be reimbursed to County after the project is finished. Section 2. If any provision or section of this ordinance is held invalid by a court of competent jurisdiction, such invalidity shall not affect other provisions and sections of the ordinance. And to such end of provisions of this ordinance are required to be served. Section 3. This ordinance herein enacted is an appropriation ordinance and therefore it is effective immediately. Motion to adopt. Second. Second. For a second, we were going to re-trump it. So. Thought we were going to re-trump it. So there for a second. Second. <laughs> <laughs> second. Uh, is there any discussion on this ordinance from the court court members? On the, I do. Yes, Judy. On the site preparation, was there any grinding that was going to take place? Yes. I thought that we had discussed one time that it'd be a good. Advantage for us if we could get that grinding material. That's we're hoping that we're uh, planning on that working out. Uh, we're going to work with uh, the judge on that, and he'll have the trucks out there to uh, right. load it up. And, and that'd be quite a bit. Will they do the whole run over? Yes. Okay. <coughs> Any further discussion? Any discussion from the audience? Robert Meek? Yes. Jim Hart? Yes. Ralph Quinn? Yes. James Widener? Yes. David Thompson? Yes. Frank Hampson? Yes. Dan Roberts? Yes. Brian Smeebly? Yes. Kathy Valentine? Yes. <coughs> yes. Next up is uh, appropriation ordinance number three, an ordinance appropriating FEMA funds into a new FEMA budget for the disaster Number 4254, submitted by Justice Jim Hart. Jim, we'll turn the floor to you. Uh, move to read it. <coughs> All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. 
be enacted by the Quorum Court of the County of Boone, State of Arkansas, an ordinance to be entitled, an ordinance amending the annual budget for Boone County for the fiscal year 2016 and authorizing the county judge to administer such budget and for other purposes. Now, therefore, be it ordained by the Quorum Court of Boone County, Arkansas, Section 1, the following appropriation is made from 3402 FEMA funds to 3401-0100, 3100 FEMA, OS, and C, other miscellaneous, $330,770.76. This sum, $330,770.76, Seventy-six cents is the amount received from the state and federal FEMA funds for disaster 4254 repairs on county roads and bridges due to the flooding of December 2015. If any provision or section of this ordinance is held invalid by a court of competent jurisdiction, such invalidity shall not affect other provisions and sections of the ordinance, and to such end the provision and sections of this ordinance are declared to be severable. This ordinance is here enacted, here enacted as an appropriate ordinance, appropriation ordinance, and therefore it is effective immediately. I would move for adoption. Is there a second? Second. <coughs> this is simply money that we've received from FEMA being moved to a category where we can use it. Uh, it's good news that we've got this money to repair roads and bridges. Uh, so. Is there any further discussion? Robert? Yes, ma'am. I realized I made a mistake. Um, it should be 23402. That's the new FEMA fund. And I typed 3401. So I'm going to is 3 what? It's 3402. Oh, 02. Okay. Is there any discussion? Any, any further discussion? Court, court, any discussion from the office? Yes. I have a question. You were saying this is coming from the federal government for, for road repairs from 2015 damage. Has that damage already been fixed? And is this additional funds or replacement of what we've already spent? No. So this My understanding is that this, we haven't done any of these projects yet. Yeah, what problems? I haven't done any of them. Okay, so this isn't a reimbursement. This is right. money that we need to spend. Right. Yes. Okay, thank you. They go through a process of taking pictures and documenting the damage and everything, and then they turn all that into FEMA, and then they give us an idea. Right. right. Well, I didn't know if we had before the factor. Now there's some that. They do before the fact, and some that they do after the fact. Do you, Lucretia, do you remember exactly how that goes? I can't remember. It's emergencies. It's based off of the dollar amount, but I don't remember yeah, the exact yeah. dollar amount. Project size. If it's this something. dollar amount, the county's got to pay for it first. If it's this yeah. dollar amount, then they will yeah. pay you. And then sometimes you do. in certain emergency situations, they have a program that you can apply for. Since you do have this money now, when could uh, residency repair start? Well, yeah, that's not going to take up with the, the judge. judge. Yeah, right yeah. on it. You did say that most of it was going to be, uh, a lot of it's going to be used to rebuild low water bridges, you know, in a more permanent manner. Is there any further discussion? No call vote. Jim Hart? Yes. Ralph Wynn? Yes. James Widener? Yes. David Thompson? Yes. Frank Hansen? Yes. Dan Roberts? Yes. Brian Snavely? Yes. Kathy Valentine? Yes. Sam Tinsley? Yes. Robert Meek? Yes. <clears throat> and now we come to on the agenda that any comments from the public to be made. I've got a quick announcement for all the phone court members, anybody in here, Judy, you all tell them at the airport. On August the 31st, Community First Bank's going to come to the courthouse lawn and cook dinner for us from 11 until 1. 
So everybody come by and get you a free hot dog, hamburger, and a soda pop on August 31st. From what to what? 11 to 1. And this is what? Lunch Because I'm such a good old boy. Let's <laughs> 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 put it that way. <laughs> It's a Wednesday. That's that's really the only day that we don't have some kind of sport going on. He's trying to get take that money out of the coffee can. That's right. <laughs> and maybe some of this uh, rolling for <laughs> August thirty first from eleven to one. The next thing on the agenda is, is anybody got anything? Yeah, Dave. I went to the legislative committee meeting for the Association of Arkansas Counties last week and. Uh, there was a lot of stuff, and I won't bore you with most of it, but the way that the turn back is split in the state of Arkansas is 70-15-15. 70% uh, state, 15 municipalities, and 15 counties. Um, it's So far it's still that way, but they get to wanting to monkey with that. Uh, one of the numbers that they came out with, uh, <coughs> municipalities... Uh, get like 54 million and they serve 60% of the population. Counties get 25 million and serve 100% of the population. Um, anyway, they just are encouraging everybody when you see your legislators, senators, representatives, tell them that this is essential for county operations. <coughs> That's all I got. <clears throat> Don't mess with it. Yeah. Next on the agenda is a... Uh, this program is brought to you as a public service of KTKO Channel.